Hello, YouTube. I, um, I wanted to mention that, uh, well, actually, this is going to be a clip for my Frog Pond Finds episode that's upcoming. Probably won't actually get that uploaded until after I go to the flea market, so that won't be until sometime in September. But these games are for sale right now, and a lot of them have sold, but I wanted to get visual proof that I actually had them, and I wanted to say where I got them from. Um, these three games, and this game, this, I got all three of these, they were boxed together in a, well, bagged together in a sandwich bag from a thrift store, and I got them for, I think it was three bucks. And here we have Candyland, Memory, Game, and Shoots and Ladders for the GBA, a bad label copy of Pokemon Blue. A good label copy of Pokemon Silver and I mean to see all of these in the same packaging that was just crazy I was excited about that and same day I grabbed Donkey Kong 64 paid two dollars for this the left front label is pretty good back label eh. um, I picked this up yesterday Star Trek Shattered Universe for the PS2 Probably going to send that off to East Starland. Got it for $2. And Clockwork Night for the Sega Saturn. I got this the other day also at the thrift store. And I paid $2 for that as well. And I went to a yard sale on the day that we went to the fair. And I picked this up. is a 1986 Computron from Sears and I don't know if it works yet I haven't got to test it I think it's like C or D batteries I believe it's C though and that's pretty cool I remember actually playing with one of these as a kid but that's all I really know on it it's a learning computer and I also have the learning book for it and uh, that's it for this little pickup. And this clip will be in the big Frog Pond Finds episode after the flea market. So I will see you guys later. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be looking at, well, some things that I found at Merchandise Outlet recently that a lot of people did not believe me that I got them at the prices that I said I got them for. Uh, but... It's not a long story, so I will tell the tale. I went to my merchandise outlet the other day, and I was actually going to the store to get some bread. And I just decided to go into the merchandise outlet just to see what they had. I always pop in there often enough. And at first, I came to discover that these were sitting on the front counter. And I was like, oh my goodness. And I was stunned right away, because when I turned them over and I looked at the prices of these games, it's, all, it's a stack of PS4 games, all of them were $5.99 a piece. And then, I went to the area where they kept the DVDs and movies and Blu-rays, and I find these. So, this is going to be going into my newest episode of Frog Pond Finds, and... Well, I wanted to get this tale and these games in there because uh, some some people have already purchased these games for me or have offered to trade with me regarding them. Well, so the first games that I gather up were I grabbed Dying Light, I grabbed Shadow of Mordor, and I grabbed... Nope, I left The Last of Us. It was up there at the front still. Yeah, uh, as I was saying, I grabbed Shadow of Mordor, I grabbed Dying Light, and I left The Last of Us and The Order up there on the counter. Then, that was it was at that point that I went to the DVDs and I found Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix, Dragon Ball Xenoverse Day 1 Edition, and Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Revolution. 
those games were actually priced at $3.99 a piece. So, needless to say, they all came home with me because, well, I think I would have been a fool to just leave them there. And there was a slight problem with one of them, though. Um, when I went off with my games, or before I left the store, I, I noticed that the seal was broken on the side of this game. So, I came to discover that somebody had stolen the disc in the game. So I asked the lady if I could just have the packaging for the game because, well, I mean, she was just going to throw it in the garbage anyway, and she gave it to me. And that's about it for that. Uh, this will end up in the, in the video that I'm working on right now. But yeah, uh, all those games for, uh, I think it was $31 total. So that was a pretty good score. YouTube worlders, or as sometimes I like to say, YouTuber maniacs. But in any case, these are the items that I have been collecting up over the course of the last few, well, I'd say weeks to a month. This was stuff that was gathered shortly before Skylar left and all kinds of other times. I'm not going to go in any particular order because there's just so much here and I have three other clips to put together and this will be an interesting and long video depending on, you know, your viewpoint. And then after this one, I have another one to make. So, I mean, the flea market itself, yesterday, it was quite a bit of items found, and I was very pleased with how all that turned out. Now, um, I'll start with this one. I had found this uh, with, along with a two Pokemon games in a $2.99 bag at the um, Salvation Army. There's Candyland, original memory game, and Shoots and Ladders. I kept this just because it was weird. Um, Global Gladiators. I got this at a pawn shop in West Branch, and I paid, uh, I think it was $2.99 for it. Uh, it's about, uh, I think, like a $6 to $7 game or something like that. I, you know... I, I like going in there and screwing with them because that particular pawn shop, they're not very, well, they're not very nice. They they don't like to negotiate. They everything's the price is the price, and and eh, I, I just I'm not very fond of them. Although when I was there, I did discuss with uh, the guy who was waiting on me about his loot crates, and he was wearing a nice Optimus Prime shirt, and I had a short conversation with him. Uh, next we have. Batman, or Lego Batman 3 Beyond Gotham. It is factory sealed. And I got that at Merchandise Outlet for $4. Then I went to Pomida out in Gladwin. This is where this was picked up. No, I did not pay $19.99 for it. I paid $10 because it was half off and they were clearancing out all their games. And that's my only Xbox One game, and it is sealed. Next, we have uh, Game of the Year Edition Uncharted 3 Drake's Deception, also sealed, although the disc appears to have popped free. Uh, yeah, again, though, got that at Merchandise Outlet, and I think I got this one for a dollar, because that particular day, games and movies and all that stuff was marked down to a dollar. Burn out the revenge. Uh, if you've been watching my my uh, videos for the past few months here, you've probably seen this one before. Because again, this is just a bunch of stuff stacked up that's been chilling out, waiting to be put into a video. So I apologize for the duplicate, but I decided to keep that one and add that one to my PS2 collection. Uh, the Karate Kid. Uh, the uh, Jaden Smith version and Jackie Chan. I liked this movie, took my little brother to see it when it first came out. I didn't think it was terrible, a lot of people didn't like it, but I enjoyed it so I grabbed it for a buck at Merchandise Outlet. 
It's not sealed, but I sincerely doubt it's ever been watched because of the environment where that came from. Next we have Top, D Top Gear Daredevil. That's just, the cover's just crazy. I bought it pr pretty much on that merit. There's a cop jumping a, what appears to be a Mini Cooper. I'm guessing this is happening in Britain. I don't know anything about the game. It's by Kimco, and I paid... $1.99 for it. Got that at the thrift store. Next we have Red Steel 2 for the Wii. And we're back after a few technical difficulties. As I was saying, I picked up Red Steel 2 at um, what's called the eBay store or Dewey store here. And it is complete and the disc is in nice shape. Next we have Starship Troopers, which I enjoyed this movie a lot. It's very over the top, about giant bugs in space. Um, space Marines, pretty much. I, well, let's see. Uh, I got this same day, I think, that I got a bunch of stuff from Merchandise Outlet for a dollar. So, dollar Blu-ray. Got this at, where did I get this? I got this at in Midland, I think it was, and I went to the Goodwill there, grabbed this. It's an Xbox exclusive, although it's not worth a whole lot. I didn't buy it for the value, though. I don't really own a lot of wrestling games, so I figured why not. This one I bought because I enjoyed playing this with my little brother. Von Helsing for the PS2. It was a lot of fun for me and him. And, um, well, I just enjoyed the game. Oh, and the, these two games, they both came from the Goodwill, and I got them for $1.50 each. Next, we have Just Dance 2014. $3.99 was $39.99 down to $3.99, so that was a 90% off. And it is sealed. Got that at Pomida as well. Again, like I said, no particular order. This one, I think this one came from my little brother. This may be a repeat in seeing it for you guys. I, well, I kept it because I'm actually kind of collecting Crash games for the PS2. And that was free. This one I got recently at the thrift store. $2 Blu-rays, man. Can't beat it. And I love this movie, so I was happy to get this at two bucks. I gotta find a new Blu-ray case for it, though. I don't like the way this is all, like, wrinkled up. The disc doesn't really have any scratches on it, though, so that's a plus. And finally, for this batch, I love that lenticular cover on here. Um, we went to one of Breeze's favorite bookstores in Mount Pleasant. And I ask, my typical thing that I ask, I ask for Goosebumps books, I ask for, well, you know, books that I hunt for typically, and this, I ask for Alvin Schwartz, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, and this is a reprint, but I like this because it's a nice big book, and it's bound well, and I only paid, as you can see, 85 cents. I was very happy to get that at that price. There's the Fear Finder. I will probably do a video on these again this year if I can get one. And I think that's it for this particular video. But I have a whole bunch of other stuff to show you in my next video that I'm going to be doing. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And I hope to see you around for my next video. See you later.